Hello everyone, my name is Tarun and welcome again to Turning Point IELTS classes. So today we are going to take up a debatable topic and till now we have discussed the topics in which we used to fully agree to something. But today we will be seeing that how we can partially agree to something. By saying partially agree, I mean to say that I am in 80% agreement of one opinion and 20% agreement on the second opinion. So let us quickly discuss the question and along with the question, I will also tell you what are the important things that we need to take care of or what can be the format of the essay when we partially agree to something. Okay, so now the question which we will be discussing today is that housing shortage problem in big cities has certain social consequences. So guys, this is the observation of your topic that it has been observed that in big cities, in metropolitan cities, there is a housing shortage problem and that is creating some consequences or some issues in the society. So what can be the issues? That there will be more slum areas. You know, so if people do not have a house to live, they will be living in slum areas and living in such kind of areas is not very hygienic. There is no sewage system. There is no proper waste disposal system over there. But we are not going to discuss this. We are going to discuss the argument. So now the argument is that some people say that only government actions can solve this issue. So some people feel that a common man cannot do or cannot contribute anything towards solving the housing shortage problem. It is the sole responsibility of the government to take care of this. And then he says that up to what extent do you agree or disagree to it? So I have to tell that yes, I agree that Government needs to solve this problem, but up to some extent, the citizens can also give their contribution towards solving the housing shortage problem. So I need to say that 80% of the times it should be the responsibility of the government, but 20% of the times people can also help to solve this problem. So guys, when we write the introduction of such kind of an essay, the first part of the introduction will remain same. That is paraphrasing the question. So we will first paraphrase the question. So by doing this, we can change the grammatical construction of the first sentence. So we will start that there are certain social consequences as a result of the housing shortage problem in metropolitan cities. So by saying this, I have rephrased the first sentence. So guys, we are not talking about the ways how we can rephrase it. If you have any problem in that, Please watch my previous videos. You will be able to see that what can be the different ways of paraphrasing it. So after we have paraphrased the observation, then we will paraphrase the argument that some people believe that it is the responsibility of the government to take care of this issue. And now after that we will write the thesis statement or your opinion. So along with that opinion, we will also outline the two basic ideas which we are going to discuss in body paragraph 1 and body paragraph 2. 
So now I am writing the format of the thesis statement which needs to be included in the introduction of a topic in which we partially agree to something. So the thesis statement will start with as as view number one I feel opinion but up to a certain extent view number two so guys i want all of you to make a note of this thing that i have written on the board this is the format of writing your opinion when you partially agree to something now let us see that how we will apply this particular format in this question. So first of all, we will have to decide view number one and view number two. That means first I will think about the one point that one that why or how government can take care of this problem. Then I will see that how people can contribute towards solving this problem. So, what do you say that why or how the government can solve this problem? If I think about it, I can say that government can encourage skyscrapers and multi-story buildings so that more and more number of people can be accommodated in a given piece of land. Is the bajaye ke baro anale bande majriya chren or slum areas de vich rehn, oh wala area apa khali karke if we construct a skyscraper. Guys, skyscraper is a building that has approximately 25 to 30 stories. So if we build a skyscraper in such areas, we can easily accommodate a lot of people in a small piece of land. So this is what the government can do. So I'll say view number one is government can construct skyscrapers. And what a common man can do to solve this problem? A common man can rent out the surplus accommodation available at their home so that people can be adjusted over there. The people who do not have homes can take that particular accommodation on a rent. So guys, when you are going to Canada, after that, when you are sitting in the house, you are going to be able to sit in the house. रेंट आउट द सरप्लस अकोमोडेशन टू एडजस्ट पीपल सो नाउ व्हेन आई विल राइट माय ओपिनियन सो आई विल से एस गवर्नमेंट कैन एनकरेज स्काइस्क्रेपर्स to accommodate more people in a given piece of land, I feel that government can effectively tackle the housing shortage problem. But 
up to some extent people can also help by renting out the surplus accommodation if they have any in their house so when i write this particular opinion the examiner will understand that 80% of the times the person is agreeing to government but up to some extent people can also help to solve this problem ਹੁਣ ਦੇਖੋ ਗਾਇਸ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਇੱਕ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਅਕੋਮੋਡੇਟ ਕਰ ਲੋਗੇ ਕਿਰਾਏ ਦੇ ਕਮਰਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਮਗਰ ਥੋੜੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਕੰਟਰੀਬਿਊਸ਼ਨ ਪਾ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਸੋ i will write my body paragraph 1 and body paragraph 2 in such a way that the examiner gets convinced that he agrees to body paragraph 1 80% and he agrees to body paragraph 2 20% fine so now let us see that how we will go ahead and elaborate these points and write body paragraph 1 and body paragraph 2 so in body paragraph 1 we will say that government can encourage tall buildings in order to solve the housing shortage problem so first i will write the topic sentence one liner and then i will write two more sentences to elaborate this idea so guys i'm not telling you how to elaborate something in fact this is also something that i have already explained in my previous videos you can go back and check but i'm just trying to tell you that first i will explain that what government can do now guys if you look at the question it does not ask us that what government can do to take care of it it says that only government can solve this problem or not so now i have written that government can encourage the multi story buildings and now i will have to explain that how only government can do that why people cannot do that so we will write after we have explained that how multi story buildings will be helpful in solving the problem then i will say that these things require a lot of planning and investment which is not possible without government's interference so with the help of these lines i have explained ki ai nahi ho sakda ki tusi te main doni jane rel ke 5 5000 rupaya paiye te sky scraper khada kar diye these things need a lot of planning and a lot of investment and that can be done only by the government people cannot do anything in that fine after this i will support my opinion with the help of a survey i'm not telling you that which survey you will write or what kind of survey it should be you should come to know by now or you can watch my previous videos but you will write your survey and after that you will reinstate your opinion that is why i firmly believe that government can solve this problem and that will be the end of body paragraph 1 guys if you have not understood anything i request you to pause this video go back watch it again but it is very important that your concept should be clear that why we have written all these things 
Okay. Now let us come to body paragraph two, in which we will explain that what a common man can do to solve this problem. So usually we used to write that some people have a different point of view and they think like this. But in this situation, the body paragraph two is not someone else's view. This is also my view. But I agree to this 80% and I agree to this 20%. So we can start writing body paragraph two by something like on the contrary some steps can also be taken by people to solve the issue. So guys, by writing this, I have highlighted that this is not the opinion of someone else. I believe that some contribution can be given by the people as well. So we will say that the people can rent out the surplus accommodation that they have so that the homeless people can be adjusted in those accommodations. And probably we can also say that this will also help the landlords to maintain their property and at the same time it can serve as a regular source of income as well because every month the people who will be living there will be paying their rent to the landlord and at the same time the housing shortage problem will also be solved and now the most important thing which we need to write here is that in my opinion this is not a good enough way to solve such a big problem or we can say that by doing this only some contribution can be given to solve this problem but it cannot be completely solved or we can say in my opinion only some homeless people can be helped by this initiative. So the initiative is good. By taking this initiative, housing problem shortage can be solved, but this is not an adequate enough initiative to solve such a big problem. So guys, Pinda to Tralia par par ke loki sharaj aajande ne for better career options and lifestyle. Ta jide landlords hain kinne loka nu kamra karai ke dezenge. They will not be able to accommodate a lot of people, but this is a small attempt. People can give their own contribution to solve this problem. So to end with, I just want to say that the main skill that is required in this kind of an essay is to explain the reader that towards which opinion you have more inclination and towards which opinion you have less inclination. I have worked with a lot of people and a lot of teachers as well. What they say is that the 
idea to which I agree 80%, I should write two or three logics for that idea. And the one which I agree 20%, I will just write one logic for that idea. And that is all. But in my opinion, guys, this is not an effective way to do that. It should be not in terms of numbers. It should be in terms of quality. So the way you write it should depict your level of agreement. And while writing the conclusion, you can just reiterate or rephrase your opinion again with outline of the ideas. So guys, I want you to please write it and click a photograph of it, send it to me on WhatsApp and I can give you my feedback as well. Okay, my phone number is 7814-28104. I use my WhatsApp on the same number. Okay, so guys, even if you have not enrolled yourself with me, even if you are absolutely new with me, you can still write this essay and send me the photograph of it. I will still check it and I can share my feedback with you. Thank you.